What's up guys? This is Kyle Jones. That's Sam Jones. And uh, hey, it is cold and wintry and blustery. And uh, we're down here on the Clearwater today, obviously not fishing, but uh, we're driving around. We're getting an idea of what's going on and where we can get out the river. And uh, yeah, today is Tuesday, the 16th of January. And uh, yeah, here's your Clearwater report. So we'll start with last week. Um, well, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give a report kind of on how last week fished, but with the massive change in weather that happened, whatever happened last week really doesn't matter now. Everything's gonna be kind of new. So um, I'm gonna just kind of talk to you about some things and then Sam and I are going to kind of drive the river and we're gonna give you guys a little bit of an update on boat ramps and stuff. We're down here at Gibbs Eddy right now. This is a spot that I spend a lot of time fishing. This is kind of my, uh, this lower part of the river is really my home stretch but uh, we'll end up going up to Orofino and then we'll pop up river and I'll show you guys how I see the upper river is. So, but uh, yeah, so last week fishing as we came into this cold front was really tough. We were really getting like, I don't know, one, just a handful of fish a day. A couple of days in a row I had one and was thankful to have it. But um, with that said, I think it was kind of the anticipation of this big cold snap and the fish were sort of going into that, just kind of protect themselves mode. And uh, I'll show you guys why here in a little bit, but uh, yeah. So, and then we ended up, so we canceled all of our trips over the weekend and actually through today, Barry's gonna try to get out and fish on Thursday. And so um, this week, these fish are still gonna be cold. Um, the weather start to warm up. We're supposed to get some storms that are gonna come rolling in and we really need that because we need we need some rain. We need some of this snow to start melting off, get a bump in water and start to flush some of this stuff out of the system. But uh, we should see. So typically after these big cold snaps, a lot of times we get these in December. So, you know, it's kind of a weird timing to get it in middle of January. So as this water comes back up and warms up, we are going to see some of our best fishing of the year here in the next couple of weeks. We're gonna get the rain, we're gonna get some more snow. Um, the water should come up, things should uh, should get rolling. And what it does is you get later in the year like this, all those fish, there's tons of these bee run fish that stay down in the snake. And as this water comes up, those fish will start making their final push up the river. And um, everything that's in the river right now has kind of just stopped. They just stop what they're doing, they pool up in holes, and uh, they just hang out. And so once this water starts to warm up, we get a little bit of water flowing, fish is gonna be really good. But uh, yeah, hang with us guys. We'll, uh, we'll get you some video on, on how everything looks. As you can see here at Gibbs Eddy, everything's uh, pretty stinking cold. Lots of snow, a lot of ice. We'll walk over here to the ramp just to get you guys an idea of what everything looks like. But yeah, you can see, I mean, if you guys are going to be here this week, I would definitely make sure that uh, if you're going to come up, bring a boat up, definitely make sure you guys have chains. These ramps, I mean, it's supposed to warm up a little bit. Uh, you know, I think the high is supposed to be in the mid to upper 30s tomorrow. Maybe some snow, maybe some rain, that kind of thing. So things are going to improve, but I just want to make sure you guys, if you're traveling up here in the winter and you're coming up, you wanna make sure that you have chains in your pickup. Make sure you have chains for your tow rig and make sure you know how to use them because these ramps, they get really icy and snowy and most of them are in spots where the sun doesn't hit. So unless we warm up significantly, we're gonna have these snow covered ramps um, for a little while. It takes a bit. Also carry salt. If you come down, you put some salt down. A lot of times you can uh, by the end of the day, but you guys can see, Fair amount of ice here, kind of ice out in here. So these ramps, if you do back into these with all this ice, you need to be really, really careful because you can you can do a fair amount of damage on like your transducers, uh, your jet pump, that kind of thing. We use, we like to try to break this stuff up before we back onto it. But that's Gibbs, so I'm gonna keep headed up river. I'll probably jump up. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are interested in Lenore, that kind of thing. We'll jump up river and hit Lenore and Pink House and. Give you guys an idea of what's going on. All right. All right, so, uh, all right, so we popped up here to Lenore. Just wanna show you this. Somebody's been in and out of this one. 
with chains on. So somebody was crazy enough to go fish in the last couple of days. But you can see, like, you can see that now that this thing's hard packed and we've got all the ice on it, if you don't have chains on, you're not getting out of here. So I just want to make that a point. You know, if you're if you're gonna be launching boats right now, coming up here in the winter period, no matter what time of year, if we get a big snowstorm, it can get pretty nasty. But if you have chains on, you'll be able to get in and out of here. But uh, like that's a lot of ice, so be really careful when you're launching, guys. So we flip this thing around. So here's the ramp at Lenore. You can see somebody somebody's been in and out of here. I know enough crazy people that would have went fishing. So, but yeah, so that's the ice that you're dealing with here. So that's a lot of ice. Guys, that's gonna that's gonna break stuff if you back into it. So hopefully that'll be gone in the next couple of days and we'll be back in business. And it probably will. That stuff, usually once it starts warming up, that stuff doesn't stick around real long. Plus we'll be putting boats in and out and kicking that crap out of here. But we're gonna head on up river to Pink House and show you guys what Orfino looks like and then we'll jump up above and uh, show you what the upper river right, is. I jumped up here to Pink House. You can see there's been a few people using this one. Um, man, you gotta be pretty dedicated to wanna go fishing. It's 16 degrees out right now in Orofino. Looks like uh, Jeremy from Stotts is putting in over there, trying to get out one of the two. I'm gonna be honest. I canceled everything because I have fished in this and for one, it's absolutely terrible on your equipment. It's a great way to blow up motors. And uh, two, it's not enjoyable at all. Um, I mean, we fish when it's cold, you know, in the 20s, mid 20s, fish when it's, you know, cold. But there's a point where when you're dealing with single digits, then it just gets stupid. And uh, like I said, I blew up a motor one time when it's really cold. You know, there's a lot that goes on. Those motors, they take a lot of time to warm up and uh, it's just not good. But you can see headed down the ramp here at that pink house. And I'll show you guys once I get to the bottom. But uh, you know, with the chains, chains only deal. Looks like somebody was stuck in here. Got a little sideways, bunch of, Bunch of salt, you know, see the salt gets right down through there. It's a great way to get it back and it's gonna take a lot of it for us to be able to use these things. But, um, man, not that much fun. Let me flip this around. See, somebody went in and out. And I don't know, it doesn't look like, looks like they got in and out without chains on, but as you can see, there's some ice coming down from up river but turn around looking at the ramp that's pretty nasty so we'll walk on up back on up here so you guys can see so somebody was stuck here it's like they may have gotten her out looks like somebody definitely got stuck right here got all sorts of sideways and needed to, needed to get out with salt as you can see this salt man I mean, it gets down through and it'll open things up, but um, takes a lot. So, like I said, make sure you guys, if you're coming up, make sure you have chains on. I mean, I know it sounds all a little doom and gloom right now, but I'm just trying to get a get a good assessment for everybody on conditions down here and what's going on and the things that we're gonna do. So when, when we get weather like this, and if we don't think that it's going to be enjoyable to fish or just out downright br br brutal, we either reschedule or cancel and refund. So we want you guys to have good trips. You come down with us. We're not going to, we're not going to hold you to fishing and, you know, single digit temperatures and sub-zero stuff. So, but nor do we want to subject our equipment to that. I make my living on my boat and my motor and my trailer and all of my stuff and does the money yeah the money that i make out of one trip definitely matters but in the grand scheme of things boat motors are expensive so we're gonna play the smart route but anyway guys we're gonna 
run up river here real quick. I want to show you guys what above Orofino looks like. If anybody's interested, it's going to be really icy. So hang on. All right. So uh, came up to some old haunts. We don't uh, fish up here much anymore, but I know we get questions asked about the river above Orofino, which is just an absolutely beautiful and amazing stretch, drift boat only. And so kind of leads us to not not spend as much time up here but uh as you can see we're up here at zans up above orofino and uh she pre froze up let me show you guys as you can see the whole thing the whole river is pretty much pre-covered up with ice up here um and really believe it or not this is actually really really normal for this time of year for when we get a cold snap for this upper river to ice up and so uh you know this will stay iced up for a little bit you know, we're gonna get some water and some weather and uh, should kick this stuff loose here pretty quick. But uh, as you can see, you're wanting to fish out of Zans here in the next couple weeks. It's gonna be a little tough. A little icy up here, huh, Sam? But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, that's what the upper river looks like. So, so hey, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's just something we're out here trying to we're doing a little reconnaissance, so we figured we'd bring you guys along on it. And um, don't be discouraged by what you see and how much ice. You know, it's supposed to start warming up here, and uh, that's going to start changing things. So, like I said, we're expected to be fishing by the end of the week, through the weekend. We'll definitely be out. Our boats are going to be out. We're going to be trying to get on some of these fish. Um, yeah, and as things continue to warm up, we get some rain. We will see our best fishing of the year in the next, well, probably sometime in the next month, really. And, uh, and with this late kind of winter stuff like this, I expect our fishing to be pretty good all the way through March. There's a lot of fish around. A lot of fish haven't even hardly moved up into the system yet. So you guys are looking to fish. February and March are going to be awesome options. Um, we get these late winters like this. March always is great. And uh, yeah. So anyway, guys, make sure you get a hold of us. Please subscribe. Make, uh, get on our Instagram, our Facebook. We're at Jones Sport Fishing in both spots. And uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, God bless, and I'll see you next week and let you know how the weekend went. All right.